Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Jay Mitch. I'm coming to you guys with the world's first Cray Hobby EXB. I'll go around and show you guys what makes it a Cray Hobby EXB. You may agree, you may disagree. There's a couple parts that weren't available that I'll go over, but I'll take you guys starting from the outside in. The first thing that you notice is that I am running the Creighton EXB body. Um, I am running body extensions um, uh, that I got from Entergy. Um, they're actually uh, axial um, mounts, axial links. Uh, I think they're 50 millimeters. I'm also running the SRC Terrain Crushers for the video purposes. I probably will switch them out for some Badlands or something else at some point. Um, I'm also running the Creighton EXB front bumper um, as well as the Outcast uh, Success Wheelie Bar. And I am running, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. I am running the RPM um, underskid plate um, for it. So basically, I walked in my hobby shop a couple, maybe a week or two ago, and they were parting out a crate in EXB. So I bought all the parts off the EXB to use to make into a crate hobby. Um, I actually did buy a crate in EXB too, um, but I didn't. Once I saw that, I knew that eventually that's where I was going to go with the car anyway, was make it a Krahavi. So um, that that's what happened. I'll just end up buying the front clips, the entire front clips from the Creighton um, EXB. So all of this, the A-arms, the, the shock towers, the diffs, all of everything here is Creighton EXB. Everything right here is Creighton EXB. I am running... Um, the LSD diff in the front. I'm running the LSD diff in the center there. And I'm also running the rear clip from the um, the Creighton EXB. So I am running the open diff back here. And that was part of the reason why this car was um, parted out. The original owner uh, killed the, the rear diff in the car. Um, so I got it and I bought all the parts to repair it, actually chewed up all the gears. Um, so we went through it, we, uh, shimmed it and we were talking about making it a third LSD, but I, I felt like it was important. The intention of the car was to have an open rear diff. So I just kept it an open rear diff. Um, but the entire rear clip is the EXB. You can see the EXB, uh, shock tower, everything, the EXB rear A arms, this whole entire thing you know, just came off of EXB. Um, only other things I had to do from the Mojave is I'm using the Mojave chassis. I could not use the Creighton um, EXB ch chassis braces um, because they were too short and they don't have the tie-in e uh, or the tie-in EXB chassis braces yet. So I just opted to use the hot racing ones for now in the car. Um, and I think... I think they they look nice there. The theme is kind of like a black and red theme anyway. So I want to keep it that way. But um, also I'm running the uh, Mojave, you know, chassis brace, you know, the top brace that goes across the top. Um, and I am running like the Creighton like body protector. Uh, so if, if you land on the lid, you know, you won't hurt anything um, in the car and kind of adds a little structural support to the body. Um, I had to modify it. I just cut it down a little bit so it fit under my body. All right. And then probably the the coolest thing about it, besides it being uh, EXB, um, is that setup right there. It is the Castle MMX 8S um, uh, combo. So it is the 8S ESC in the new 1717 censored system. I am going to be running it censored. It is set up for censored. You can see the sensor cable plugged in down there. Um, so this thing is going to be uh, very, very fun. I am running a JX6221 servo. It is my default go-to servo for uh, bashers. Um, it's not the most expensive and it's not the best, but I tell you what, it's pretty damn solid and it's plenty of, it, it gives me enough speed and it's enough torque for what I'm going to do, um, with this car. I think it's, it's just enough, you know, if I, I could get a save box and I could use a whole slew of other better servos, but this servo for the money, you can find these servos on eBay for 13 bucks. 
I'll buy five or six of these at a time just because how good they are. The only thing is they're not waterproof, um, but I don't really bash in water too much anyway. Um, and I've never had an issue with one of these servos, so I recommend the servo. But anyway, your boy's talking too much. Um, just want to say thanks for watching. I'm going to put this body back on for y'all one more time before we shut the video down. Oh, as you can see too, I'm, I am running OSE connectors. Um, because of the high, you know, power that this thing is going to put out. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick overview and be able to say I was the world's, world's first, uh, Cray Hobby EXB. Um, you know, I don't have the chassis and I don't have the chassis braces. Um, but you know, those aren't available yet. Um, but when they do become available, I plan on, uh, getting those. Um, so anyway, your boy's talking too much. I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks to you all for all your support. And shout out my man Dave Hubbard. Shout out my man Big Willie. Shout out Ted and Adam at RC Discount. And uh, special shout out to everybody that's been supporting me. Um, and say thanks for watching. Y'all be good now. Peace.